I'm in your debt for rescuing me from that godforsaken Skerry. The name's Scalagrim. Shipwright by trade and a damn fine one too, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Is that your attempt to make yourself sound useful? Fine. <laughs> you can come back with me, I guess. The yokel would return, but not that day. The wreck of the longship yielded a survivor. Someone who could help the Ulfung take to the waters once more. I'm in your debt for rescuing me from that godforsaken Skerry. I'm looking forward to impressing you with my outstanding skills as a shipwright. Very well. I look forward to my new ship sometime tomorrow, then? Well, I can try and rebuild the boathouse, at least. It's, you know, a little rustic right now. Your clan has plenty of good timber from the valley. I'll get to work on the house, and a new longship soon after, I hope. She's a real beauty. She's ready to sail, should you wish. Now that the Ulfung have a ship again, there's this rival clan. Are you a shipwright or a warmonger, Skarlagrim? <coughs> They've surely heard tell of the giant's attack, and if we do not strike soon, they'll be too fortified to yield. Attack our strongest neighbors? Oh, what madness! <laughs> I like it! Of all the Ulfung's neighbors, the Svanung looked down upon the outcasts with the greatest disdain. The Svanung believed their fortifications impenetrable. But never underestimate what a desperate wolf might be willing to risk. So many archers above, it would be unwise to go much further along the sands. Blood for Asgard! You need to get stronger. Oh. 
Bring it on! Thanks, I'm done. my house, Ulfung. This is your house. <laughs> I mistook it for the Midden. You will pay dearly for your impertinence. Kill him, my sisters.
Reluctantly, the Svanung survivors swore fealty to the Ulfung and became their vassals. Each moon they would send tribute, both fish and gold, and in return the Ulfung became their protectors. But a new foe was coming, and war would once again blight the hillfort.